Hi, this is Anis from Never Stop Tracking and 3B Logistics. So, uh, today I'm going to be showing you a little bit around uh, DAT power board. Uh, we are not going to do truck postings today. I am uh, planning to do another video about that. But today we only want to uh, do like a tour and just show you guys around and uh, show you what everything means and uh, hopefully this will be useful to you so let's just switch here to this and then i'll uh, turn off my uh, camera so i don't bother you there okay now uh, when you log in into the dat board this is the first thing you see uh, this is uh, the interface uh, it's uh, uh, very cleverly designed and it's also very functional it's uh, eye pleasing so uh, it looks modern uh, yet it's uh, functional so uh, the difference between the at board and truckers edge is that basically you can post uh, uh, more than one truck so uh, as you can see i have four trucks here posted and uh, i can post uh, more uh, same thing when we do search loads or search trucks we can post more trucks more than one and then also uh, when you have more than three dispatchers see like if you have two dispatchers and you have two of these accounts uh, they're all separate and each dispatcher will use their own account but if you have three dispatchers and more uh, you can see what everyone else is posting okay and brokers can also see uh, whoever is posting one of them one of these uh, trucks, the, the other person, the other dispatcher does not have to post the same truck. In the case when you have two dispatchers, um, then uh, both of them have separate accounts. So uh, one of them posts a truck and brokers can see the truck. The other one posts the same truck, then bro now brokers will see two trucks. Okay, So they will, they will think that you have two trucks posted because each dispatcher is posting in their own, maybe it, it their own way maybe it could be in the same way but there are still two postings and then each dispatcher will um, take care of their posting like when they delete a posting when they post uh, they are the only ones that can do it if you have three or more dispatchers then all these accounts are connected so for example uh, dispatcher a b and c dispatcher a posts a load then um, the other dispatchers don't have to post the same load same truck uh, and they will be all able to see whoever posted uh, their truck uh, with the initials so when you go here initials see here my initials are em so if you have someone with initials bb then you will see that the, disp the dispatcher bb posted that load and you know for maybe he is looking for that load or she uh, but you can change it you can change that dispatcher's posting you can delete it update it and all that and everyone will see it between that group whatever everyone is doing uh, you you will you will all be able to see it and brokers will also uh, be able to see only one posting because you're essentially uh, posting one truck uh, one posting but everyone is able to see it. So here on the left, uh, we have the load board, uh, rates, directory, uh, and onboard. Onboard is a totally diff uh, separate system. You used to be required to uh, log in separately into that system to onboard. Like uh, if a broker is sending you a packet and then you have to fill out the packet, you have to log in into a different system, but now it's all connected in one. It's much, much easier. Um, so this is for the packets and directory here uh, you can look for brokers uh, write reviews read reviews research new business part partners uh, uh, manage your reputation your office so let's say maybe i don't know like jb hunt search and then you have a few options here so this is the jb hunt uh, and they don't have any reviews which is weird let me see uh, yeah they, this is more like it huh? so you can uh, see their reviews okay for uh, uh, jb hunt or any broker that you're working with 
Uh, and then you, uh, what's nice you, is that you can see their information here, uh, the address and uh, phone number, their MC number, and uh, bond, uh, insurance, all that you can see here in DAT board for every broker. So if you ever need to find out some information about them and you don't have it, then this is a good place to start uh, looking for it. But let's go back to the board. So here, uh, search trucks is if you want to search for posted trucks um, in our case this is not uh, we don't need it that much you know unless you're a broker and you're looking for posted trucks but uh, as i said in one of my previous videos uh, i'm just going to bring back my camera here uh, it's easier for me uh, to explain with my hands and all that <laughs> So uh, if you are a dispatcher and you're looking for potential new customers, you can always uh, go and look for posted loads, okay? Posted trucks, I'm sorry. So Kansas City, for example, and uh, you know, you like to work with vans and you do just a van standard and then you just look for some trucks uh, that are posted that need loads and um, you know, this truck needs a load. Uh, so this truck is tanker endorsed and it's empty in Topeka and uh, this company needs a load. Now, um, to find out more about this company, you know, if this is a company that has like 50 trucks, there is no sense in offering them your help. But if this company has one truck or two trucks, see like it has 42 power units here, then, you know, they don't need your help. Uh, but, you know, if you look for someone that's uh, maybe this here, you know. Uh, let's see how many trucks they have. 70, ooh, yeah. So this is a way, and I explained in one, one of my videos uh, that you can maybe find some potential customers this way. Like you just call them up and see, hey, you know, do you need um, help? Maybe let me see about this truck here. 12 units, okay, so this is less. Um, but basically this is uh, for trucks. So if you're searching for trucks, for posted trucks, and you maybe have a load or you wanna offer them your services, this is the place to go here on search trucks. Now, uh, I like to do post trucks. Uh, I know dispatchers that like to do search loads, and there are a few reasons why you uh, might want to go with either one. Uh, so post trucks, uh, when I post a truck, everyone, uh, all the brokers, as well as dispatchers uh, and other trucking companies can see my truck posted. And then a broker can call me up and say, hey, you know, I have a load that matches your truck. Uh, you want to do it. Uh, and then uh, also some brokers that, that we know uh, will will call me up say hey you know we worked with you guys in the past we like what you did and we want to work with you again I can um, offer you this load uh, and maybe like some local companies here out of the same city so there are many reasons why they want to be working with you and some brokers will not even post a load on the DAT board so you as a dispatcher can see that load some brokers uh, will actually you know, like let's say they have a load out of uh, uh, Columbus, Ohio. Okay, they have a load from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, and sometimes they would uh, go and uh, look for companies that are based out uh, of Ohio and offer them loads. Okay, uh, they will go to uh, uh, post trucks option and see uh, they will uh, not post i'm sorry they will go to search trucks here and they will search for a uh, truck from columbus ohio so um, let's see they will do let me just show it here so columbus ohio <clears throat> and they have a flatbed load and it's picking up tomorrow and they're just gonna search uh, let me do maybe 12 hours back so now they will uh, search a truck from there so now what they can do here on the right hand side uh, is they can you know um, pick some equipment uh, but they can pick carriers only out of ohio okay and mc number less than um let's just say uh one zero 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 and one more zero okay so this is uh basically maybe like 
two to three years old. Right? Let's just say three years old. Uh, they only want to work with uh, customers who have been long in business and that are from Ohio and even, you know, show only names. Okay, so we'll, we'll uh, do that as well. Okay, now this is it. Okay, and let's see how many, uh, so there are no trucks. Okay, now let me maybe uh, change this a little bit. Sorry, right here. Okay, so we're going to do uh, delete this and now see what they can offer us here. Okay, now we have some more trucks. And now basically the all these carriers are from Ohio, okay, uh, from their home state. Or even if they uh, want to do it another way, uh, let's just say uh, that they have a load um, from Houston, Texas that goes to Columbus, Ohio, okay. Columbus, Ohio, and uh, we will search, but let me see if this is, yeah, this is still there. So in this case, they might want to work with a carrier that's from Ohio because they assume that this carrier is going home uh, from Houston, Texas to Columbus, Ohio, and they can call up these carriers. Uh, they can call uh, KSA Express and tell them, Hey, you know, uh, we have this load and see they're from Dayton. What about this one? This is from Sheffield Village. So uh, let's just say this is uh, close to Columbus. I don't know if it's close to Columbus or not, but let's just assume it is. So they can call them up and say, hey, you know, you guys are from that area and uh, I see you're trying to get back home. And they're going to hope that this um here we will take that load uh, due to various reasons. Maybe driver needs to get back home and maybe they can even uh, save some money because hopefully this carrier will uh, do it for less money. So uh, basically that's your search truck. Okay. Now let's go to, cause this, this is not really for you. You want to post trucks and search for loads. When you post a truck, the broker sees you they can contact you. If you search for loads, then the broker cannot uh, see your posting. That's the, the difference. Uh, but why you want to do it, that, that's a different story. Like I said, for posting trucks, I gave you the reasons. They can call me up and see where I am. Uh, maybe they worked with me in the past. For search loads, sometimes um, dispatchers um, have a lot of trucks and they don't want to be bothered because sometimes brokers will call you with laws that don't even match what you're as you know looking for maybe they have a bad rate they can't cover that load uh, because they have a bad rate now they have to call everyone up and offer them loads okay uh, sometimes uh, some dispatchers would maybe like uh, cover a truck and still look for something else uh, and they don't want the broker to see that they are still looking so this way they can just search for a load and no one knows that you know they have a truck available okay so it might be um you know different reasons why you might want to do that okay uh and then here uh let me just here uh, this is the live chat and uh, you have a lot of things here i'm not gonna go into uh, all of these uh this is mainly about uh, loads okay uh, but this is like if you want to research the market conditions um, and the trend lines. And then here the, you have some um, services from DAT board if, uh, if you uh, need them. And then here's some settings, uh, but they're, they're really basic settings. And then you have a lot of more settings here uh, for your account. Okay. Now, uh, uh, when you post a load, and I'm not going to go into posting a load, like we said before. Uh, we're going to do it in a different uh, video. Uh, but when you post a load, uh, when you post a truck, I keep saying a load. When you post a truck, uh, this is what you see. Uh, you can choose here uh, to show your phone number or your email address, whatever you have on the file. Okay. Whatever you have on the file there. And that's what can be shown here as uh, the contact info. And you can choose between these uh, uh, ways of contacting you okay uh, and then here it shows uh, your specified uh, uh, equipment your specified destination you know when you posted the load uh, whether it's a full or partial or both load and then length of the trailer and uh, the maximum weight that you can put on the trailer and then here is the age 
uh, for that um, posting. So when the broker goes and looks uh, for posted trucks, they can see how long this has been uh, posted and then you can just refresh it. So when the broker goes now and sees that this has been uh, posted for 23 minutes or maybe even this one, like three hours and 25 minutes, they're wondering whether you still have the truck available or not. But if you hit refresh, then uh, they know that it's a brand new posting and they can, uh, that you still have the truck and they can call you up, okay? And then you can unpost uh, here or remove uh, from the public view, uh, uh, but we're just gonna repost it. And then here uh, you can uh, check all or check one of them and then uh, just uh, do um, uh, uh, a lot of things like refresh, delete, unpost and all that. Um, or you can just uh, do all of them, like this is good when you want to delete all of them or unpost, okay? Uh, so you can unpost, the difference between delete and unpost, delete is like it goes away completely. Uh, if you unpost, it just uh, shows the truck as not being posted anymore to brokers, but it's still there. So it comes in handy when you have a lot of trucks um, um, that are available in the same area, um, you know, a few days in a week or so, and then you can just go back, post it and unpost it without having to uh, manually repost it every time and put in all the information. So that's, that's cool. Um, okay, now let's go down here to this area and then explain to you what everything means and what you can do uh, with this part here. So when you switch between these postings, uh, this will show uh, down here that uh, the available loads, okay? So uh, if you have a, a bold, uh, letters here that means that you haven't uh, checked out this posting yet because so this is new to you you haven't clicked on it and you you didn't try to find out more because when you click on it here uh, it will expand and then you have uh, the reference number uh, for the load sometimes brokers will ask you that when you call them uh, they will put a, a commodity here uh, like what uh, the product is, uh, they should have put this here in this uh, field, but okay. And then you have comments one and comments two, so uh, you know they can leave comment. And then here it says email only, and then email this person, uh, even though they have a phone here. Um, okay, so that means they don't want you to call them, they want you to email them. If you call them, they might tell you were like, hey, you know, uh, please do email this guy uh, or uh, they might e not even answer, okay? And then they have uh, another comment here. Uh, and then you, uh, extension 409, uh, quick pay is also available, okay? So that's what you have in the posting here, okay? Here uh, it shows on the left uh, how long the load has been posted. So if the load uh, is fresh, you know, it could be uh, zero minutes, uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, then that's fairly fresh load. But if the load is uh, you know, 30 minutes uh, uh, over, you know, one hour, then that's an older load. And uh, you may want to start calling on, on these uh, younger loads uh, because these loads might already be gone. Uh, or the fact that it's it's just sitting here for a long time means usually that this load is not uh, that great of a load. And, uh, you know, who knows if it's going to uh, be a good match for you either. And then this here, 71 hours, this has been posted uh, three days ago and someone just forgot to take it off. Okay, it's probably same as this load here because it's the same broker and it's a similar lane. Uh, so they just reposted it as a this one, but they didn't delete this one, okay? Now, uh, here, that's the pickup uh, date. So if you only, uh, when you post, when you do a posting, if you only pick out today's date or tomorrow's, then it will show you that date. But uh, we'll talk about it when you post a load. You can always post like uh, from this date to this date, and then it will uh, cover, you know, more than one days and then it will show you here when the pickup is, uh, which date 
uh, it, the pickup is support. And then truck equipment here. Uh, in, in our case, this is a V only, with, which means van. So when you choose a V, uh, uh, it shows only van. But let's just say, like, let me see here. Uh, it will say uh, VR. That means uh, this load uh, can be put on a van or on a reefer. Uh, same with this load same as this load and then sometimes they have even more options uh, like a van or flatbed or a van air uh, like air ride most of the trailers nowadays are air ride anyway especially driving trailers uh, but they will specify that sometimes the the customer will specifically ask for a air ride okay see like right here they need air ride trailer uh, and then sometimes they have different options, but here uh, in these postings we don't see it. So uh, let's go back to this one. Uh, this is uh, just uh, um, flatbed, or, uh, I'm sorry, full or partial load. Uh, so uh, it's either a full or partial load. You, uh, usually when I post, do my postings, I only do full loads if i really need a load and there is really nothing and i i uh, really need a load from somewhere then i would just do both uh, but see like here it will tell you p this is a partial load so when you call this load you will know that this load is partial it only requires 12 feet of space and it's uh, 12,000 pounds that means you can do um, possibly another partial load uh, 53 minus 12 is uh, 13 um, no, 41 um, so you can do another 41 feet um, and put it on the on that truck possibly okay um, but you know just so you know these partial loads uh, tend to pay very less uh, so you know if you need a full load and you only doing full loads then there is really no sense of calling these loads unless there is really nothing and you get you just have to pick up uh, whatever so that's what this is now that had uh, that means uh, how many miles the truck has to go empty to the pickup so uh, this here is Westchester Ohio uh, that's where my truck is and this load here picks up in Groveport Ohio uh, maybe I could call this load goes to Alpena but I don't <laughs> I don't know if they uh, pay that much yeah I'm not gonna mess with it um, so this uh, uh, group this load from Groport Ohio is 95 miles um, from Westchester Ohio okay uh, this one here is 130 because uh, it's in Playfield Indiana this one is 131 miles away from Westchester Ohio so it gives you the data like how many empty miles the driver has to go uh, to pick up the load um, sometimes uh, these are not right and I always advise to uh, do the uh, distance yourself in a separate uh, mapping software I you lately I've been using Google Maps uh, but even here like if you click on this it will show you uh, that route okay and then you can even add your uh, um, starting point which uh, is Westchester Ohio in our case so this one will tell you uh, you got 423 miles and you can add a stop and then uh, we can do Westchester Ohio uh, and we have two of them uh, and then this one will just move up there this is where he starts and get route and it will show us that we have a total of 518 miles okay uh, let's remember that so if we do if we go to Google Maps and uh, let's do uh, West and then they have two Westchesters this is township this one is a township so this is different okay and uh, we are picking up uh, in Groveport Ohio so Groveport Ohio this one shows that Grove Porto is 95 miles away and it's it's same as this here but sometimes it is not uh, so you you have to you know double check this mileage okay 
Um, so that's uh, that's Groport, Ohio here. And trip uh, this here just shows uh, how long the trip is supposedly from Groport, Ohio to Alpena, Michigan. Uh, how many miles do you have from Groport to Alpena? So when you do you, all your miles, and I advise that you guys do uh, it every time, you always add the deadhead uh, to this here number, and then you get the total trip, um, which was uh, it showed here uh, 500. And 18 miles okay so this trip is 418 miles it's not 431 it is from the pickup to delivery but for your truck it's 518 miles and you should ask for a rate that will uh, include the deadhead miles so this is your mile these are your miles if you're trying to get three bucks a mile you gotta have 1500 to do this so if you're trying to do two and a half you gotta have 1250 miles for this load okay but let's just, uh, for for the fun of it, uh, try to add here, well, what was it, Alpena, right? Alpena, Michigan. And Google says 529 miles, okay? And all these uh, softwares that are uh, integrated into these uh, load boards or uh, softwares, like accounting software, invoicing software, tend to show less miles, just so you know, and brokers like them because they work in their favor. Uh, so 518 miles here, but but check this out when you go here, it's actually almost 530. And just know that this is going to be a little bit more miles to the driver because they have to, you know, get around, get out of the pickup, uh, go around uh, uh, these routes here inside the city. It doesn't have to mean that he can go this way. Um, he's most likely going to go uh, maybe come here and then here. So it will be more than 520. Let's just say 540 miles, maybe even like 550, just to be sure. So th these are your uh, real miles. So uh, these are all the brokers that are posting these loads. And this is a, a different topic for itself. OK, but I'll just do it real quick uh, for this video. Uh, this is where you see all the brokers okay so when it so this is total global forwarding usa so when you click on it it will show you uh, basic information about them where they are from their mc number credit score days to pay uh there are no reviews if they have reviews uh it will show a uh, star let me go to this one okay yeah like this one it will show like uh they have 51 reviews and they have a uh, four and a half stars which is pretty good and then you can review this office uh, more at the at directory and this is basically same when you click on this it will take you to the at directory and you can find uh, a lot of information about this uh, broker uh, their name their bond their insurance if they have any trucks you know like their history uh for the credit score for days to pay uh and then here uh reviews uh so you can uh you know see uh, the most helpful favorable review most helpful critical review and then uh reviews here and then just uh you know read <laughs> through these okay so that's where you find out about the broker uh, and like I said, I'm not going to go into which broker you should work with, which one you should not, which one you should stay away from, you know. Uh, but this is this is where it shows their information. This is their contact. Uh, sometimes they have the phone number or the email. Uh, you can copy the email and then just put it in your email software. If you click on it, it will most likely open up in your default uh, uh, email software that's installed on a computer. Uh, usually not the one that you're using so don't click on it and this here is the length of the load uh this or or the length that they need for the trailer so this one is a you need a 53 foot trailer for this load uh, for this one down here you need 48 feet uh, trailer but 53 will work as well okay this is the minimum and then they have the weight here uh, uh for the load okay 11,000 pounds 126 uh and then 40,000 pounds usually when they round it up uh it's probably a little bit more than that and then here you can report companies uh this is their uh again this is their same thing uh, credit score from here uh 97 which is good anything like above 95 is good you know 95 97 so these are the, uh, like see this one here 
uh, you should stay away from these guys and dates to pay. Now the lower the number here, the better uh, this company takes than 25 days to pay on an average, you know, uh, 20, which is even better, 19, really good, 18, cool. Um, yeah, if it's over 30, then it's not good, okay? But you, none of these uh, show over 30, okay? Now factor, this is uh, for DAT board, uh, you know, like if you're using uh, someone like RTS or someone else, uh, then it's, you know, different. You have to check with your own factoring company. But see, like OTR solutions, they partner up with DAT, and then you can um, here uh, sign up for that. And then also um, it will uh, show like this check mark that they are okay to uh, factor with OTR, okay? So because they're, they partnered up and they have some kind of uh, business um deal uh, but if you're factoring with otr you know this uh, here shows you that you can uh, do the loads with them and then the rate here uh, shows how much uh, the broker is paying and then if it says zero or just dash then it means it's negotiable i mean they do have a rate in mind they have a limit too but they just don't want to say it openly uh, they want you to call them and then um, ask them okay uh, now here, some of them have this option where you can book it uh, online, uh, like this one here through DAT board, um, and you just click here and book the load, okay? Uh, but even if you book here, doesn't mean that uh, this load, you will get it, okay? Uh, you st it still has to go to uh, the process there of booking it. Um, but anyway, um, let me show you, an, uh, uh, yeah, one more thing about these rates, uh, 700, usually it means, uh, like this one is 700, this one is 600, usually when they have a rate posted, usually it means that that's the rate, okay, that's the one, that's their maximum rate, okay, and that, that's what they're selling it for, uh, and then you can expect when you call the load, like if this is seven and you, you need $1,000, uh, you're probably not, not going to get $1,000, um, you might be able to get a little bit more, like 750, maybe like eight. Uh, but from my experience, it means that that's the rate, and uh, maybe you can negotiate a little bit up. Um, but that's that's about it. That's the ballpark you can expect it. Uh, so if you need one thousand dollars, don't you, I wouldn't even bother with calling this load and uh, asking for one thousand dollars. Okay. So um, next thing we can do uh, with this here, and we can play with this is you can sort them. So uh, I'm just gonna do this here. Um, you can sort them and th that's really fun, okay? So wh wh when you, it depends what kind of driver you're working with, uh, where they are, you know, if you know the driver for a long time, you know what they like, you know, if they're really uh, picky on the weight, they're really picky uh, on, on the deadhead uh, distance and all that. Uh, you can usually sort these loads, well, you can always sort these loads uh, by different factors. So let me show you. Uh, age is one of the uh, most important factors. Uh, if, if the uh, age is low, like uh, one minute, or let me see if there's like one minute. So that means this load has just been posted. Sorting these loads by time uh, just uh, will show the newest loads available okay to you uh, so that's a, if you want to look for newest loads you can sort them up uh, by uh, time by age and then here by pickup if you have more dates posted then you can sort them by pickup date uh, truck flat um, full or partial and then deadhead uh, so this is really cool uh, you can just uh, sort them by that. So if you have a guy in uh, Farmer City, Illinois, and you want something close for them to pick up, uh, then you sort them by that, and then you can go uh, by by that. And then, but if uh, here origin, uh, it will only do like um, um, like um, states. Uh, let me see if I have more. Yeah, this is the one with most states. So it will sort here by states. Uh, and then here uh, trip it will sort uh, by the length of the trip so if you know if you want to start with shortest loads or with the longest loads uh, to look for someone uh, maybe if we try to do a posting let's say Kansas 
let's say I know let's just try Louisville and then maybe have it open uh, this one could be just uh, like uh, an example okay so uh, if we sort it by origin here then uh, it will uh, sort them uh, by states okay so picking up Indiana and then probably here uh, that's the furthest one I guess level Kentucky, Illinois, origin, Tennessee, Ohio. Okay, a trip. So the shortest one is 41 miles that we have. Uh, and then the longest trip uh, is uh, 2,400 miles. Destination, same thing. And then company, you can sort, like if you have a broker that you prefer to work with, uh, you know, starts with A or B, then you can just look for that broker here and then see if they have any loss like you like working with coyote for example you just go scroll down and you see all the coyote loads here okay uh, length weight yeah weight is also uh, pretty important so if you want to start with lightest loads okay so uh, here we have an option see TQL is calling me already on this level <laughs> so full only okay so we want to do weight, uh, so this is the, the lightest load, 1000 uh, Greenway, <laughs> I remember, oh no, this is a different Greenway. And then, you know, the, the heaviest load, 43.5, uh, credit score, you know, if you're looking uh, for that, you know, the biggest credit score, like these guys have the best one, they need to pay, and then also rate. So sometimes when you post a load, you want to see uh, which one of them has the best rate for you, okay? So we're, you know, going to make some money and then uh, we uh, want this load for $5,000 and then you go down, um, you know, and then once you go down to like <laughs> 16, then like, oh man, this is, you know, not working. Let's just sort them back by age and then see whatever new popped up, okay? So basically, that's uh, what you can do with sorting these loads. Whoopsie. Okay. Now, here, uh, we can go to search loads. Uh, it's basically the same as uh, before. But here in uh, search loads, uh, one of the difference... Oh, yeah, here, uh, you have a set alarm. Okay, I forgot about it. Uh, so this is cool, you know. Uh, it will um, usually sound an alarm when a new load pops up. Uh, but sometimes it can be annoying, you know, especially if you have more uh, people working in the same office. But this is good, like if you're away from the computer doing something else, and then you just set an alarm, and you go away, and then, you know, whenever something new pops up, you don't have to sit here and wait. It will tell you, and they come to the computer, you rush, you run, 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 and then you see that this load is not working for you. <laughs> just kidding, you know. But yeah, you can set it up for that. Um, but when you go to search loads, there is another difference. Uh, you can, um, when you, uh, let's just say we have a truck in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, now you can, um, uh, the equipment here, you can choose between any or only. So if you choose from any, then uh, you have uh, like uh, a lot less options here. So you want to do a van, okay, or a flatbed. So if you uh, choose a flatbed option here, uh, you can do another option. You can do a uh, van. You can do, um, let me see, what else can we do? C containers, okay? And then you search for uh, all, all this equipment in one posting, okay? So that's cool. Uh, so the, these are just like uh, uh, general uh, equipment types. Like this uh, van will include all the vans. Uh, but if you go here only, if you switch the tab here to only, then you get more options. You get way more options. And then, for example, if you're doing van, um, you want to do a specific option uh, for a van or, you know, whichever here. So, for example, uh, if you want to do van with lift gate, you can only choose van with lift gate. And this is good for uh sprinter vans or hot shots so if you if you're looking for example for a sprinter van 
uh, you just go here uh, to van uh, hotshot let me find it right here so this is for your sprinter van okay uh, and then you know you can do straight trucks that's sb okay straight box truck if you want to uh, look for a load uh, for a sprinter van uh, you do van and then you specify the length so you know 10 feet uh 1000 or like 2000 or you know whatever the limit is like four five thousand uh but you know do three thousand and uh uh partial okay so you look for columbus let me see and then they and then you go to um nodes here like see this one says specifically no sprinters uh so that's not cool uh, and then you go to nodes here parts washer yeah, so this could uh, work three hundred dollars, uh, not the greatest rate. So and then you have a like we said a sprinter van there. So we'll do a new load search. Uh, we'll go to only again, and then we'll do a VH, uh, which stands for um, van hotshot. So that's your sprinter, and then you do Columbus, and then you can even leave it open here, uh, do full or uh, partial or whatever you want to do but uh, this is specifically for a van hatch so if you do full uh, that's that's what it is here uh, it's uh, 250 yeah so that's that's it as far as the search goes and then here uh, which is also cool here on the side uh, you can you know pull this up and then you you have these uh, other options like uh, for MC numbers for brokers and then only uh, names of these brokers specific and don't show the names uh, for example you want uh, a van load uh, from uh, Columbus uh, for today let's just do whole week so you do shift you, you click on 22 and then shift 26 and it will select you hold the shift button on your keyboard and it will select all of them and then you search and then uh, you see like company here uh, we're just gonna go up and look for tkl or let's just say xpo okay xp you don't want to work with xpo so you go here and just don't show xpo and then click here and now the xpo is gone okay uh so yeah that that's cool uh with search law. so that those are the differences and those are the little things i wanted to explain to you and this video turned out to be way longer than i hoped to be but with me that's how it is i always talk and talk uh, but anyway uh thanks for watching this and all the other videos subscribe to the channel come back for more i'll see you guys around